The business story that you're about to hear is presented by OxyChem and House of Flavors Manufacturing. Uh, we are at the Ludington Area Center for the Arts. Andy, can you tell us a bit, as I'm walking around, because I'm going to show off the space, yep. but tell us a little bit about this remodel. So this is our newly remodeled uh, main gallery here on the main floor. Um, so over the winter, we added uh, a couple permanent walls for display spaces and received a new paint job to the, all the walls and the ceiling as well. Uh, we painted the ceiling black. Um, it just makes everything pop a little bit more. It does. And then uh, just uh, at the beginning of this month, we finished up on phase two and added some new flooring here. And it's amazing. It looks so awesome. I'm going to go around the corner here. So what exhibit are we looking at right now? So the current exhibit on display throughout the month of March in here is uh, Michigan Landscapes, Shutter, Brush, and Mud. And it's by Karen Clark Antrim and Deborah Clark. Karen is uh, from the Hart slash Pentwater area, and she does a lot of ceramic work and has a few watercolors. And then Deborah Clark is from Manistee, and she is a photographer. And there are, uh, there are so many scenes in here that I am recognizing. Hi, Ed. Hey, I miss everybody. <laughs> hey, we miss too. We're, and so wait real quick though, because that reminds me, I do have anything to do with the uh, girls rock that's going to be live virtual, virtual right uh, yeah 26. and that's going to be um on the Laka's uh website and facebook page too right so i was so excited to see that yeah. come back and happen virtually that's this year that's 17 people say yes <laughs> so it's going to be pretty i ran awesome. out of time ed i'm sorry <laughs> they said she ran out of time <laughs> you still got time you got three weeks left sister <laughs> all right i'll see what i can do Okay, awesome. great. That'd be fantastic. So, yeah, cool. Thanks. Yeah. All right. So, uh, and there's a reception for this yes. exhibit uh, coming up, Yes, we're going right? to be having a closing reception on Friday, March 26th from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. And we are uh, taking reservations to limit the crowd size for that one. Um, and to place a reservation, you just visit our website or our Facebook page, and there's a link to the our online store where you can place those for free. Um, we, uh, the time frames are every 15 minutes that we allow people with the idea that people will be here for about a half an hour. So, yeah. um, we're hoping for our April exhibit, which is going to be an abstract exhibit, um, with the, uh, the reception being on April 9th, that we will not have, uh, the need for reservation. So, uh, here's hoping <laughs> yeah. Fingers are crossed. yes <laughs> and these people still have time to enter the uh abstract exhibit by bringing artwork in through next friday the 26th right yeah. cool and we have a link for that on, on the website too. Yep. so now i want to go over here to the the uh the pot. it's not technically pottery it's ceramic right yeah. it's not one of these aren't pots but they're super cool but tell us a little bit, because you do have the pottery workshops that are back. Oh, now, yeah. Right? So we are now uh, officially reopening our pottery studio and having more in-person workshops. Um, oh, I love the flowers. I know. Those, those, awesome. <laughs> those two are oh, sold. Uh, they're sold. They're already sold. Already oh. sold. <laughs> but there's these two. And I'll show you my favorite in just a minute. But. Oh, so <laughs> yeah, so the pottery uh, stuff. Has, we're starting uh, next Thursday uh, with the uh, adult uh, daytime and evening uh, pottery workshop. Awesome. Um, and then we're having Sunday workshops for kids um, and a Sunday wheel throwing class as well. Awesome. Um, the limits on the class sizes are eight for the two pottery classes and the wheel throwing class is just limited to four people right now. Um, each of the classes are a, a two week class uh, and we have three sessions for everything all set up. So awesome. um, people have been registering like crazy the last <laughs> couple of days. So we're excited to have people back in the building. Yeah, I know that was a popular, a popular class. I took a couple that, that had quite a good turnout. So it's nice to be back. Yes. Back to instruction. Although the workshops in the box were fun too. I have to go pick up my <laughs> my mugs later today. Yeah. So I'm gonna walk this way because I want to show you Heather the other 
Yeah, really I, I need fun, more, uh, more stuff here. I love these with the birch bark. That's it's a great exhibit, and you only have another one more week to come in and see. Oh, these see. are these are my favorite because they're my color. Oh, those are awesome! I did see those on the Facebook page too. So yeah, fun! They're awesome. And there are some more over here, even though those were sold. We have. Oh, good. There's are a couple over here. <laughs> here. And speaking of sold, let's walk through to the gift shop. Can we go that way? Because the gallery and the events obviously are a huge part of the art center, but there's also a space here where you can find. Yeah, items. show the beautiful orange wall too. Oh, I love it. Isn't it awesome? Yeah. <laughs> People have not been back. They need to see the entryway was redone as well. And the flooring matches the gallery. Yeah, and it does. Pop of an orange wall. Now. And I love, I love this too. Oh, the modern. <laughs> That's my thing. Name's on that one. See, now I'm shopping. <laughs> it happens every time I go there. I'm always like, ooh, I need to put my name on this and start a deposit and like start saving. Yeah, so the gift shop has uh, all sorts of items jewelry, pottery, paintings. Yes. Uh, they make, when people are looking for gifts, um, Specifically made in Ludington, unique things. I this is one of the places that I always send. So yeah, they're all handmade. Everything in yeah. there is by a local artist. It's local amazing. artists got some Milo over here. We've got an Indian <laughs> Skinner original right below you on that table there. The broccoli. Yes, the broccoli treehouse. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So uh, if you're looking for unique decor or items for gifts. Uh, there are all sorts here to choose from. Mm -hmm. And it's all. I know. I got yeah. I got a Rebecca Mott vase from there. I had I didn't have one yet and I'm really excited about that. <laughs> all right. So well, I really gonna... like that abstract you rolled over too. I'm gonna have to go get back in there. They've changed it since I've been in there. New stuff. New stuff. Do we want to check out the uh, tapestry? The second exhibit that we have going on right now at the Art Center. Tell us about this one. What's the uh, so this is story Eden, here? Eden Foley. He's the uh, in charge of the art department out at West Shore Community College. Nice. This is his piece called The Tapestry of Days Long Past. And they are found objects and just items from people's past interwoven into fabric and uh, displayed. And it's kind of one of those pieces where you walk around and you think, oh, I remember, you know, something like, I had something like this. And then it tells you, you know, you're reminded of that story of having that experience of having that. Yeah. Um, there's QR codes all attached throughout there where you can uh, nice. shoot those with your phone and they take you to video clips and sounds and a couple of video games and stuff like that. Um, so, so, who's the that? Yeah. Oh, I recognize this guy. I think I heard him. <laughs> I've kind of felt like that guy over the pandemic. <laughs> and, I, and I had one of those. <laughs> this is cool. Yeah. It is like a little walk back through yeah. your childhood. It's supposed to spark memories of, you know, telling us, you know, reminding you of, you know, where you've come from and yeah. the people you've been with. So this one really reminds me of the hospice mask project that we used to do. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, this is definitely one you have to come see and, and interact with because yeah, I'm probably like not, I'm not doing it justice. <laughs> I think there's just a lot going on there. You can't capture it all when you're. Yeah, you have to. You have to be here to check it all out. Now so, I think a lot of our watchers probably haven't been in the performance hall since that's been done either. While you're up there, if you. Yeah. Let's give them a peek. Let's check this out. And it's set up. I know the ukulele group was here, <laughs> so I assume it's set up. So yeah, there. I can't hear Andy if he's right next to you. Oh, 
our visual art critique group will be meeting in here tomorrow for the first time in person in quite a while. So Andy, we're excited Helen to get people in. What's that? Helen, what's on the back wall? Which back wall? Oh, uh, the, uh, yeah, the, oh, the screen. The, the video right? wall. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't do it justice right now, but that is our uh, 197 inch uh, LED screen. Uh, the biggest television in town. <laughs> uh, so we're excited to finally be using the performance hall again. And we have some fall dates scheduled for some performances and uh, screenings as well. So tell them what, what, tell them what's different in there if they come in and, and well, if you haven't been in here in the past two years, uh, all of the church pews are gone and the red carpet. That's now at Heather's house. <laughs> yep, had to keep it. It's in the basement. Yep. So I assume that you have, there's more chairs like this that you bring out yeah, when there's a have, performance. Uh, so. We have 250 chairs plus the seats up in the balcony. So seating for 300 in here. Awesome. Um, makes it able to have uh, different seating arrangements. We can have standing room only concerts. We can have dinner theater, which is something we did right before the pandemic. We're really hoping to bring that back soon. Yeah. yeah. And it's nice to be, I mean, it's seeing like, like you said, the critique group, you're, it looks like you're getting ready for, you know, things are coming back as people are being vaccinated and, and limits are being relaxed. So keep watching their Facebook page um, to get updates on on new events and how things are changing. And we're gonna walk back down. What did Mother need to put stickers on? Stickers on something. What did you need, Andy, to put stickers on? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell her to stop by with a check. Stop by. <laughs> stop by and reserve before I get in there. Yeah, so if you haven't been to the Art Center, I would highly suggest paying a visit uh, it's it's definitely worth it. The exhibits are always amazing. And become a member because Andy was talking about the pottery workshops. There's a significant savings on the workshops and and the performances that'll be coming back soon if you are a member of the Art Center. Yep. Yeah, and the membership is not expensive. Yep, the uh, uh, single person membership is just forty dollars a year, mm -hmm. and that gets you, uh, I believe, ten dollars in vouchers for tickets as well. So it's really only thirty dollars. Yeah. And if you're awesome. a member, it's less than that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Well, thank you for the tour no and no all problem. of the information. Uh, it's nice. We talk about there's so many events that are always happening at the Art Center. So it's nice to put uh, put some visuals to that. Yeah. Um, and all the cool things that have happened during the pandemic, Andy and Callie have been responsible for all those wonderful things and programs you've seen online. The the uh, concerts on there, the talent shows, all of that, um, you know, the, the creativity that happens at the Art Center went above and beyond being able to showcase artists in the building and doing different programming and things online. And, yeah. uh, and like you said, the workshops in a box, I hope we keep those around even post pandemic, because sometimes you just can't get to a workshop or you don't have that day open or something. So that's just an awesome way to continue people's exploration and creative art. It is, it's a, uh, it's, it's like an on-demand thing. You know, you can grab it and do it whenever, whenever you I want. Art Center. I have to tell you, they started from a small board and then bought the building and then, you know, had this line of credit and then they worked hard and they paid off the building and now they own the building outright. And now they've just brought in all of these amazing artists. And these are local people who live here in the community. Some have even relocated to Ludington to practice their art. Mary Case being one of them. Mm -hmm. um, Amanda and Nathan came here originally to be in Ludington and now have the, this great gallery down the road. So our arts community is amazing. It is. And it's great. So we can showcase their art here in the gallery. And, and yep. And Andy was talking about the the abstract um, exhibit that's coming up in April, where people can uh, they can submit uh, art right now. He already has thirty pieces 
Awesome. And some of them, he has some new um, artists that are coming from Frankfurt. And so, like you said, the word is getting out <laughs> the uh, about the great things happening here. So, and, and they were instrumental in the art that you saw around town with the Detroit Institute of Arts. That whole collaboration was because the Art Center took that on. And when you couldn't come inside the building, they got involved in this statewide thing with the Detroit Center of the Arts. And you could yeah. see these wonderful, like, I mean, we're talking classic paintings. And they're, they're still there, I believe. Still there. They are still on display. So there is a map. Um, if anybody's interested, I'm sure it's still on the, the um, Art Center's website. We have the information as well. Yeah, and they all have QR codes on them as well for more information. So yeah. it's pretty awesome. Our cool. Art Center, our library, our Children's Museum, our Maritime Museum, I mean, you wouldn't think you would find these things in a town of 8,000 people, but it's here. Yeah. It's here. Yep. And take advantage of them. <laughs> you can find the entire directory of downtown Ludington businesses on our website, www.downtownludington.org.